Okay, so we're live. <clears throat> we're streaming right now. Right now we're streaming. And I'm just trying to do world v world and chill, baby. I'm just trying to do world v world and chill. And I've done quite a bit off camera. I've done into the first level of Mithril. Also, my game just froze for a little bit. And... I've gotten a few kills. Just been running around. Killing stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, you know what I mean? Just freaking... Killing things. And I have sort of an announcement to make. I'm gonna be moving. And when I move, I'm not gonna be able to stream at this hour. My hours, streaming hours are going to be different, but I will be able to stream more regularly, I know, so I'm going to, oh, I have the internet, look at that, I have the internet up, look at that, pop out chat, gotta get that pop out chat, am I right, am I right, I mean, world v world and chill, right? Hang on. It's white. Why is it all white? Oh, it's taking forever to load the chat. That's why. And I'm, I'm only getting eight pips per thing. Okay, and the chat has loaded. So we're here. And we are on... World v. World and chill. And... We're on Mithril, and we're having a great time, and... I only streamed for an hour today, so... I only streamed for an hour today, so I'm, I'm, I'm setting out to rectify that. I am... Starting another stream, and I'm going to stream for a little bit. I'm not going to stream forever, probably just another hour or so. But uh, I'm kind of enjoying the world be world and chills, so I'm going to keep doing it. And especially because I'm outnumbered, because I'm I'm gaining that bonus, that outnumbered bonus. The, the, the outnumbered bonus is actually quite fantastic. I'm very much enjoying that outnumbered bonus. It's an extra five pips, and... It's more than doubling what I would get if I was not outnumbered, so, you know, you gotta take that into account. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering if, like, if I could pay a graphic designer and then, like, have them design a logo for me and then display that logo in, like, the bottom left corner of the screen. That would be so freaking cool. Also, I'm gonna change, instead of saying that I'm playing Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire, I'm just gonna say that I'm, that I'm playing uh, Guild Wars 2. So hopefully that will make the stream more visible. I believe last stream was the first time that I actually um, changed it to Guild Wars 2 Path of Fire rather than Guild Wars 2. And it didn't work out so well. Also, I'm going to die. This is a mirage. Okay, so definitely I'm going to die. Um, definitely always die when the mirage comes out. Always. That's just, that's just a fact. You know, it's just a freaking fact. Always die when the mirage comes out. But I did... Oh, I got a wasteful ruin on him. I don't think I'll be able to keep this up, though. Ah, yep. Could not keep that up. He had resistance, which actually doesn't really affect me because I'm a, I'm a spellbreaker and I don't rely on conditions. I'm dead. Yep. But he still had resistance. And that, I mean, that does help him quite a, uh, just a little bit. Resistance makes him immune to the slow that I can affect, uh, that I can uh, inflict. Slow, oh no, vulnerability is also the other condition that I inflict. Anything else? I got nine pips. I got some more stuff for my reward track. Nice gear. And of course, another black lion chest. Woo! Thank you so, so much, Arena Net. I, you know what? Black Lion Chest, I mean, that's really the best. Black Lion Chest is the best. That is the best. Yep, 
it's gonna be so freaking cold tomorrow. Tomorrow, I am, I'm kind of scared of the weather. I'm kind of scared of what the weather is gonna be tomorrow because it's gonna be, it's gonna be quite cold. Um, yeah, it's gonna be quite cold. I actually meant to use my my uh, F1 before I used my F2. There we go. That's what I meant to do. So I could just chain together those things right all in a row. And then I get three stacks of adrenal health. And boom. You know, it was kind of crazy. Um, at Right now, with my current internet, I get really fast download speeds. But my ping on Guild Wars 2 is usually like 350 or something like that. Which is kind of weird because usually at a PC room, I get super fast download speeds. And today I actually went to, PC, to a PC room and it had um, the download speed when it was downloading Guild Wars 2 was like 6 megabytes a second, which is a little faster than... Or it's a little slower than the one I have here because... Here, I sometimes get speeds of up to like 10 or 12 megabytes a second. But uh, this one, it was less, but then my ping was only like 100, which is insane. It was like a lot lower than I expected it to be. But oh well, oh well. Okay. I love how it's so cool because he's doing shield bash. He's not it, it, that that guard, that sentry right there. That is a warrior, but he's not doing bull's charge. He's doing shield bash, and there's an important difference between those two skills because shield bash is a two-second stun that does damage. Bull's charge does more damage. It's a three-second knockdown, and it's also a leap finisher. I did not know that. So is shield bash. And it is a one and a fourth second evade, and that is really, really important because that means that he's coming at me with a shield bash. I'm going at him with my bull's charge. I evade his shield bash, but he gets hit with my bull's charge, and I interrupt him. So it's actually quite cool, uh, that is, because... Because there you go. That's It just is. You know what? It just, it just freaking is. All right, can you just... Also, apparently, this is contested. I don't think. Oh, I'm getting tired. I don't think that. I don't think it's actually contested. I think what the issue is, is that I'm in the territory, so it's saying it's contested or something. Like, I I just don't know. But watch this. Watch this. This guy is a guard. Watch. Come on. All right. Boom. Then see. You see that? So. I so he came at me with a shield dash and I evaded that because bull's charge is an evade so because I was able to evade that I didn't get hit and stunned by his shield dash it's pretty cool um yes Okay, now let's... Oh, that's got a four and a half minute timer on it. Uh, probably gonna be some people around there that I don't want to hang out with. But we'll see. We will see. I'm going to... See, I'm only getting four pips per tick. That's just so little. I mean, at least when I get five or six pips per tick, like, it just it goes a lot faster, but four... Four is just so bad. What is this? Mama recruiting must be a baby that wants milky. What? What is this? Okay, I'm also going to take off my uh, glasses. Also, am I getting killed? 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting killed. That's what I'm doing. And you can never see when the Mirage dodges. See, oh, I... Oh, crap! No, no, no! I... I meant to not trigger healing signet. It happened, though. And also, that was a hammer. And I died. The Deadeye killed me. There was a Deadeye. He marked me. He marked me, and he probably had a lot of malice or something like that. Um, could not escape. There's no escape. And this, and that was probably by the people that captured this. Watch, this is going to go green in a little bit, I bet. Do I go over here? I mean, there's still a three-minute timer on it. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I was manufactured to the highest standards. I was manufactured to the highest standard. That's what he says. I think my internet is going quite fast at the moment. It feels that way. It feels like it's going fast. Also, I was swimming into a thing for a second. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. So, can we capture this? Can we capture it? It's still on a two-minute timer. So, the answer is no. The answer is no, we cannot capture it. But the good news is, if it's on a timer still, then they won't really be suspecting me to be here, so they won't be here waiting for me. Real players, that is. Um, and if they're not waiting for me, then I don't have to worry about them suddenly killing me. I can just kind of hide in here and chill out. Just chilling. Chilling like a villain. I'm gelling! I'm just, hey, yamete, I don't, oh, what is this, no, don't say that, I'm not going to read that out loud, why? I see, okay, you're doing something. It is still on a timer for about one more minute, but hello, Hewan. Hello. You have question marks. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. I know, I know it's you. I know it's you. Also, let's see what's in the what's in the Black Lion chest currently. Definitely you can get these merciless skins, which are pretty cool. Um and the Griffin Hatchling is actually a glider skin as well. It's pretty cool. Total makeover kit as well. And I really want one of those claim tickets. I don't know what the next uh, weapon set is going to be that they're going to release. That's spam, Heowon. I'm not going to show that in the chat. No, I'm not going to show that either. Don't be mean. And is the timer? The timer's gone. Okay, which means that we can definitely capture this. Alright, and I am destroying. We're wrecking house. We're wrecking face. Oh no. No, why? Why are you saying such things? Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Come on, come on. I can do it. Thank you. Fighting. Ah, four pips still. And I'm not outnumbered either, which means I'm not getting that extra five pips every tick, which kind of sucks. But it's the reality. It's what we have to deal with. Um, and here is, uh, some ruins. We can go in and capture some ruins. So that is good. That is something that we can do. And I'm excited. I'm excited to do such things as these.
So, what are we doing here? Let's see. And they also captured this um, fairly recently, about two minutes ago. Which kind of sucks. But, watch your vlogs. Oh, no, no. No, don't watch my vlogs. Grande. I mean, or subscribe. I mean, yeah, subscribing would be good. Subscribing would be the best, really. If you could, you know, if you could do one of those things. Okay, so we are capturing this ruin. We are having a great time capturing a ruin. And... Still not outnumbered. We're going to have to see after th about three and a half minutes. We're going to have to see if we're outnumbered again. I kind of feel like we might be. Uh, we might be outnumbered. Uh, we definitely don't have a commander present. We're definitely in last place. So, let's see. This is general. Let's check the eternal battlegrounds. Oh. Oh, we're in bad shape there. We're Hold on. The eternal battlegrounds. We actually do not have Stone Mist Castle. This is terrible. That is why we're in last place. The Maguma Desert Borderlands, of course, we control most of the stuff. But we only actually control two of the keeps. Whereas Dragonbrand actually controls one of them. So... Crap, son. All we have here is a supply camp. That sucks. But we are going to go and... Capture this other... Thing. What is it called? The uh, Battle's Hollow. But first, we're going to actually go and kill the sentry, because killing sentries is just something that's really fun to do. Just no matter what, it is fun to kill sentries, because I love that even though they're a warrior, they've got the seal shield bash and everything, but I can evade them and even interrupt the shield bash. It's pretty cool. If I don't interrupt them with the bull's charge, I end up interu interrupting with the disrupting stab, which is awesome. So, there you go. That is something that's very cool. That is something that's very great. Okay, so we have captured it. We, we're getting karma. We are actually getting a lot of karma. And we have so much karma that even though I went um, earlier today and I, I went to Siren's Landing and I spent... Uh, I have like 10,000 karma on getting extra Orion pearls. We actually have more now than before. More karma now. It's actually not even 10,000. It's more like 13,000. And I was down to like uh, 1,080,000 or something like that. Now I'm over 1.1 million. So I got so much karma when Winter's Day came around. Winter's Day is just a giant karma farm. That's really what it is. You get these things like Winter's Blessing and all that crap, and you get all that extra karma. You get the mintberry swirl ice cream. You've got the the tins of fruitcake. You've got the candy canes, and you get all these extra. And then if you're really lucky, you still have somebody that has a bonfire, which will give you a 50% karma bonus, which is insane, which doesn't even exist in the game anymore, and I think it should. Just put it on the gem store, seriously. So that we could just buy it. Let's just buy the bonfires. Or just put them in black lion chests as like a rare item or something. Just just do that. And, um, and you get all those bonuses. And then you go and you do the jumping puzzle over and over and over again. And it's an enormous karma farm. In addition to all the ridiculous amounts of karma that you can do by, by helping the orphans... That is insane. It's like so much karma. And you know what? People talk about Halloween because that's an enormous gold farm. But in the end, if you really need gold, you don't need Halloween to do it. You can do... A lot of people mention the, the Silver Waste farm. I, I don't do that. I've never done that before. Shimjime da tanda. tanda. A lot of people mention the Silver Waste farm. I've never done that. Let me see. And then, it, not, it, what? It, one, got it. Um, don't, don't call me that. Don't say that. Um, actually, I didn't go to it, one for Halloween. I don't think I did. 
Maybe I did for some other thing, but I can't remember. I did not go to it Itaewon for Halloween. I don't know. I don't really know. Please. Why? Oh, you want me to go to Hallow? You want me to go to Itaewon for Halloween? <laughs> I see. Maybe. That's all I can say. All I can promise is maybe. But, um, I mean, there are so many, like, in-game farms. You could do fractals for gold, or you can do the silver waste farm, or you can do the leather farm. The leather farm is really good because, like, in Lake Doric, you can do the leather farm. You can get tons of gold from just selling that leather and stuff. And the thing is, you can also just swipe the credit card and just just buy some gems and then convert gems to gold and that gets you, that could get you a lot of money but if you want karma you can't take any shortcuts with that unless it's winter's day winter's day is when you get crap tons of karma and that is how i went from nothing to over a million that's <laughs> and so that's that's how i did that That is how I got to so much freaking karma. And now I have plenty of karma. So when I want to buy the other relics of, like, relics of the gods to where I can, I can use the relic of Duena. Duena's going to be the next one. Then after that, perhaps Grenth. And then, then I guess Lissa, since that's the last one. When I unlock all of the relics, then I get the one for Abaddon for free, which is awesome. God of Secrets secrets and water and so yeah that that relic will be very cool and i can use that for a different one of my builds i mean i've got um so many builds and it's just like it's it's gonna help me a lot to have probably for the commander build or the healing warrior build i will probably want to use the uh the relic of duena that probably and at least the skin right like i may not actually use the stats from it because the oh i got hiccups it's because i'm talking too much i might not actually use the stats from the relic of duena right at first because i already have a back piece that has hairier stats so ah much better i already have a, a back piece that use that has hairier stats so I probably will not use the Duena back piece for actual stats. I'll probably just use it for the skin. But I may be able to use the Duena back piece in some other build. Perhaps the Commander's build, which would be really cool. Although, I'm probably going to reskin it to look like the Relic of Balthazar. Because it makes the most sense for a Commander's build to, be a rel to have a Relic of Balthazar. So, you know, that's really... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got an ally in danger. Well, we had an ally in danger. He waypointed. I'm curious, is there someone still there? Is someone still there? Looks like no. Looks like no, there is not someone still there. Yeah, but, um... Uh, so... I, um... Yeah, probably for the Commander's build, I'm going to buy the Relic of Duena for the skin and then use it for the stats. Okay, so, because I have a Relic of Balthazar right now, but it's Marauder stats. It is not, um, it's, it's not Commander stats. So, and the only way for me to actually change the stats is for me to infuse it, but I would also have to... Like, then I wouldn't even have a Marauder's thing, and I need the Marauder's gear. I need Marauder's stats. Or I actually need assassin stats, is what, I, is what I really need. I'm also still not outnumbered here, which really sucks. Oops. Whoops. I'm still not getting that extra five pips. <sighs> mm. 
I am so tired, but I'm gonna sleep probably after I've been streaming for like an hour, so like 35 minutes. And that'll be 2.30 a.m. for me. You can actually see the time in the in the bottom right-hand corner. Um, so, if you ever want to know what time it is in Korea, there you go. There's a timer. It's still one minute. I'm just going to wait. There's also a player, and he's a core necromancer, and he's in shroud form right now. And, oh, you're going down, dude. You're freaking going down so hard. You think, you think that you're good? Just because you're a mage? And you know what? I hate mages. Okay? My name is Mage Hunter for a reason. Boom. Done. We killed him. Oh, oh well, this might actually be a hard fight because that's a thief. A core thief, yes, but a thief. So. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Oh, he's down. He's down. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Kill him. Boom. Yes, yes, yes. Salute. That was awesome. Another spellbreaker. Look at that. Okay, we got this other guy. Look at this. He's a daredevil. Let's go. You want to go, punk? Make my day. You want to go? Oh, he evaded my uh, disrupting stab there. Oh crap! Whoops! Oh, but my mage bane tether still pulled him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm gonna die though, and I don't think I'm running vengeful return, which means all he has to do is just get away until I die. Boom! Featherfoot Grace. Bulls charge. I'm gonna die. Yep, I died. And I'm also not running Vengeful Return. I am running probably Warrior Sprint. Yes, I'm running Warrior Sprint. Um, so there's that. Not even running Vengeful Return. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. You're fine. Maguma is not fine. Maguma is in a very bad spot. And that is a shame, because for a long time we were in first, but right now we're just doing really badly. And, I mean, we're losing really badly to both of the servers. Oh, we captured... Oh, we captured Stone Mist Castle. We captured it. Oh, that's awesome. We captured Stone Mist Castle. We're back, baby. It's only a matter of time. Look at this. We've got a solid foothold here. So we are back, sort of. I mean, it's going to take a while, but we're going to come back. We definitely are. If I'm not outnumbered after this tick, I'm just going to move to the other Borderlands and see... I'm going to have to see. And he's... Oh, what? Oh, it's green now because the other guy captured it. Ah, uh, okay. It's fine. We will go and just wait out the rest of this tick. And we will see... We will see if... Oh, uh, what's called we will see if we are outnumbered if we are not outnumbered then that's a shame mm. we're gonna have to go to the other borderlands but if we are then we will stay here we get to stay here and have fun here also to anybody that may not have seen the last stream where i showed this briefly i will point out that i do have a 32 slot bag now because i spent a ton of money making it and i am now outnumbered so i can stay here and i've got two raptor loot boxes uh, nothing of value. Just salvage material. But I am outnumbered now, so... Oh. So I'm gonna be gaining eight pips... Uh, sorry, not eight. Nine pips per tick. So, very cool. 
and that's still on a three minute timer so probably not gonna go for that instead probably i'm gonna go north and capture the sentry and then perhaps i can just run back probably that will eat up a lot of the time that it takes so we'll see but so we will see i think he went to sleep Okay. All right. Let's go and kill this guy. I just got like this really, like, really sad thought in my mind that I'm trying to like not think about because it was just like so random and I'm just like, uh, no, don't think about that. Uh. Don't you hate that? You get those intrusive thoughts that are like so sad and you're like, why? Why did I have to think this about that? I'm kind of wondering when the next time I get one of those ascended weapons will be because that would be really cool to be able to randomly get an ascended weapon again. I don't know, but the next one I go for is likely either going to be a rifle or a torch. L most likely a rifle. Or uh, not a rifle. Most likely the torch because... The rifle is cool, and I have a build that centers around the rifle, but it's not something I would use a lot. It's just something that I have a use for. So, Berserker, exotic Berserker stats on a rifle is fine. Um, however, the torch would be kind of important because I am putting together my Viper's build um, for the Condition Warrior. I really hate to say it, but I am going to have to actually make that build eventually. And it requires Viper's gear, and I kind of hate that, but, um, but, uh, yeah, it requires Viper's gear, and there's not really any way to get around it, so I'm also going to have to go and see if I can get some, some rings and other things that are Viper's stats, like the accessories, the trinkets, is what I'm going to call them. Because those are really, honestly, the hardest part. Like, you can get Ascended Armor of any stat type and just change it pretty easily. But when it comes to accessories, those are quite hard to get. Especially, like, Harrier's gear has been just so difficult to get. I mean, I've got the armor already. I think I have, like, three armor pieces that are Ascended and the rest exotic uh, for Harrier's gear. But... But the accessories are insane. I've got I've got one accessory that is Harrier's gear, and the only reason that I have that is not because I've been like grinding out trade contracts or anything. It's because I went and I, I I had been doing my fractals, my daily fractals, and from the daily fractals I got a hundred pristine fractal relics. And um because of the pristine fractal relics, I was able to get the mist talisman, which gives me the right stats. And then as far as the other stuff, I've got I've got the amulet, and you know what the amulet is? It's a mist amulet, which means I got that one from Fractals too. The back piece I got from the story, and I eventually I originally chose I think it was some stupid stat set like Cavaliers or something. So I actually had to I had to actually spend a crap ton of money in order to infuse it. Just so I could um, change the stats to Harriers. Because it's a Path of Fire stat set. So, dang it, man. But I think also that the next Living World episode is going to come out soon. When that comes out, hopefully we'll be able to get some accessories with Path of Fire stats. I'm really hoping... Things that do not involve getting like 5,000 trade contracts because that's really annoying. And you know, even if you could just grind them out from world versus world stuff, except that from an entire world track. Hiccups again. From an entire reward track, you're getting 40 trade contracts. Just 40. That's it. It's like, why? Why must you not know my suffering? You need 5,000 for the... Is it the... An no, I don't think it's the amulet. Could be the ring, I'm not sure. But either way, 
what it's proving to me is that the easiest way to get stuff of the new stat type is just to do fractals. Because, I mean, with fractals, you just can build up 100 pristine fractal relics and then choose any stat type in the game. So you don't actually need to do anything special. Um, yeah. I don't know. Just, ugh. But, um, yeah. So, that's that. I have been talking about that. That's Harriers. I mean, I've just been kind of ranting about how, how stupidly difficult it is to get Harriers stuff. Um, and it's also pretty hard to get Commander stuff unless you want to spend, like, 30 gold on the recipe. Um... You know, that's not really fun. So, you could technically, because I have, I have the recipe for the insignia, or is it the, the inscription? I can't remember. I think it's the insignia. Like, okay, so commanders, look at this. Commanders, exalted coat. This is, this is for the breastplate. Oh, no, 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 it's not a breastplate. It's actually the light armor. Um, for the helmet, the recipe is 37 gold. What? So instead of doing that, uh, what I'm doing is just with the triumphant armor. I'm doing it mainly for the skins, but when I get the actual armor pieces, I looked, and you can choose commander stats on them, so I'm just doing that. Um, so, and now I have the chest plate and the gloves and the leggings, so next I'm probably going to get the boots, uh, or, uh, let's see, hold on, perhaps the helmet, the helmet could be good, because the helmet is less armor, is it, oh, is it less armor, no, no, actually, the helmet is the same amount of armor, oh, it's less armor than the, hold on, it's less armor than the spear marshal's gauntlets, <laughs> I said spear marshal's, it's less armor than the gauntlets, but it's got more stats than, than like, because the, the shoulders are the same amount of armor, but they have less, like, they have fewer stats. So, you could actually argue that the pauldrons, or the, yeah, the pauldrons, you could actually argue that those are kind of, like, the least valuable thing. Because they have the least amount of armor and the least amount of stats. Whereas the breastplate has, like, the most armor and the most stats, or whatever. But then the helmet... It has the least amount of armor, but it doesn't have the least amount of stats. It actually has a pretty good amount of stats. So, probably the pauldrons are the least important. That's probably the last one I'm actually going to get. Once I unlock the skins, then I kind of have a lot of freedom to choose whatever reward track I want to get. Um, and it's going to be a long time with whatever reward track I want to get because... Um, I've got just plenty of time. Like, it's gonna take weeks and weeks and weeks to grind out these World G World now, Skirmish Claim tickets, you. and I'm gonna have all six skins well before then. So, you know, just, just gotta keep that in mind. I am gonna get nine pips from this. So, that's good. It's excellent that we are getting the outnumbered bonus. Love the outnumbered bonus. And, <clears throat> hopefully... Yeah, should be within, like, uh, five minutes or so. I'm going to get the second Mithril reward, which is pretty cool. Uh, which means that tomorrow I can grind out some of Mithril, perhaps the rest of Mithril, and then perhaps part of Diamond. We will see. We will see. But I'm moving on Wednesday, so got to do that. Um, so Wednesday is actually going to be the day that I actually pack up my computer. I might be able to stream a little bit on Wednesday before... I pack up my computer um, I can just like pack up everything except for my computer uh, tonight and tomorrow and then finally Wednesday I'll just uh, stream and then pack up my computer oh um, okay well it's one guy it's just one guy I think I could probably kill him come on come on get me oh I got him I got him with full counter boom Boom. Oh, crap. All right. Yes, got him. Got him. 
Got him. Very cool kill. Was able to get him pretty easily. Also, there's a... Oh, there's a core warrior. Now, is he a core warrior? Because... Now, here's the thing. When you see a core or any other class, you're probably like, Oh, that's probably a free player. When you see a core warrior... You're like, is that a free player, or is that just a really good warrior that knows how to use a warrior's build? And it looks like he's a core er, he's a core warrior just because he knows how to use a good build. Whoops. Found him. Oh, oh, yeah, he was care- yeah, that's- that's not a free player, I don't think. I think that's just... No boons allowed! Yes! Get those boons removed! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. We got this. Boom! And then... Oh, I, I was gonna daze him again. I did get one interrupt in. Boom! Interrupt! Dang, man, he's good. He's, eva he's evading so well. And both of us have insane sustain. I mean, Core Warrior can have a lot of sustain. Oh, crap! <laughs> what did he just do? That was insane. How did he do that? He did a crap ton of damage. He one says four... Oh, I'm not going to read that. Help me out. Why help you out? Help you with what? What what can I help you with? How may I help you? Okay. Yeah, wow. That guy was powerful. I, you know, hats off to that guy because he was powerful. He was good. Okay, Champion's Domain does not have a timer on it, though. So we will be going there. We are three pips off from the next Mithril Reward, which is awesome we are also kind of we're really close to the next uh reward rack siege blueprint cases which is cool and then we are relatively close to the superior siege blueprint cases also hey one you want me to help you out what would you like me to help you with you can message me here or on kakao talk okay See, so we are going to Champion's Domain. And we are going to capture it, hopefully. If we see that core warrior again, I'm going to be a little bit... Oh, no. Oh, no. What is this? No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh no. Oh crap. The NPCs are are after me. They're after me. Boom, full counter. Boom. Uh oh. Oh, endure pain. All right, we got this. We got this. Killing a crap ton of guys. Boom, full counter. Boom, it recharged my breaching strike. Not breaching. Yeah, it is breaching strike. Boom, interrupt. Yes, got him. Got him. But that was not a real player. It was just a bunch of NPCs that caught me by surprise. I did not think. You killed me just now. How did I kill you? I... I, I feel very bad about this. How did I kill you? How is that possible? Also, valuable metal scraps. Can I actually sell those? Also, we got a mithril award. Good. What? What is this? Okay, we got the siege blueprint cases. We got a flame ram and an arrow cart and we also got a mithril reward which we will now use 
I really don't understand what you're saying, Hyun. I also didn't get anything valuable out of those Miss Warp packets. Okay, we are going up to that sentry, and we are going to kill that sentry, because that sentry is giving me a headache. I am going to destroy that sentry. Also, that this, this Tyrian Exchange Voucher, I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it for, like, airship parts or perhaps leyline crystals, but I'm not exactly sure, and I'm just... I'm really just kind of paralyzed with what I want to do with it, because I don't know. Okay, can we see anybody else, particularly that core warrior I was afraid of? Uh oh, uh oh. Soul Beast. I think Soul Beast will be okay. I, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I got, I got a, um. I got, uh, uh, Wasteful's Ruin in on him. Although he's recovering from it because I can't get any more hits on him. Oh no. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh crap! I was able to stun him. He's gonna finish me, though. He's gonna finish me off. Yep, he finished me off. So I can waypoint, though. Okay, and we've got this, which we can deposit, and then we can use that. Use the luck. The luck be with you. We've got about 13 minutes left in the stream. We'll probably do about uh, two more ticks. Which, if all goes well, that'll be 19 more, or sorry, 18 more pips. 18 more pips is um, going to be, let's see, this is six. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, 10 and then plus 8 so it's going to be in here about here that's going to be two more ticks oh no 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 because we'd be doing an extra tick which would be an extra nine so it would be up to here three three into this one so we would end up having 33 out of 50 which is cool so We still have the supply camp, though. We're going to go, and there is definitely an enemy. There's an invader there that has taken down the sentry. And I'm a little bit afraid that that is the soul beast. If it is, then that kind of sucks. Because we died for the soul beast. I kind of feel like once I move, like, because I'm moving on, on Wednesday, and I kind of feel like my ping is going to improve... Right now, it's actually pretty good. It's actually going back to normal. It's now 259, and that's kind of the normal, the average ping. Uh, it, it, it was, it was a, a lot higher recently, but uh, now it seems to be going back down. And in the PC, room, the PC room today, I had a ping of like 150 or something like that, and that was really cool. So, love that super low ping. And 150 is super low for Guild Wars 2 in Korea. So, there is that. Gonna go to this ruin, see if we can capture that. And we get another tick. So here we go. Nine more pips. Okay. Capturing this guy. Let's see Eternal Battle. Gosh, I get such bad hiccups. Why do I have such bad hiccups? Uh-oh. 
Hi. You're back. Okay, so we have now captured this ruin, and now we are going to go to the sentry again. We go back to the sentry, and we are going to... I... Oh, that's my name. Yes, what? Oh crap, I forgot I was using the hammer. And I he actually landed his shield dash for once. That's that's a first. Why are you sending me a YouTube video? I I I can't I can't watch this right now. I can't watch a video while I'm doing a stream. I'm sorry. You're dying. Don't die. But once I finish this, I'm probably going to stream for like um, nine more minutes or so. About. I mean, I've got to sort out my rewards and stuff. I've got to like sell these runes and all these junk items. And then probably after that I'm going to turn in because it's very late. I'm quite tired. You love babies. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad you like babies. Baby. Uh, no, you just want to say I love babies. Not not singular. Also, I got this Ascended Ring. It lost Seal of Usoku. It's not particularly valuable because... Especially because I have... Oh no, no, what are you saying? What are you saying? Not on my stream. <laughs> um Oh, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the Lost Seal of Busoku has soldier stats, and it's not particularly uh, valuable, because I have one that is infused and attuned, and, uh, and it has three infusion slots, and, I, and you can easily get one for 10 prestige fracker rocks, but... I got this randomly, and I kind of just want to salvage it. But the problem is, if you just buy a salvage kit, then then you end up not making enough money back. Like the problem is, you need to actually get a salvage kit, like randomly. You can't just buy the salvage kit because if you do, then chances are you're not going to get your money's worth out of it. Capturing this capture point. Okay, so we are going to go to Orchard's Overlook. And we are going to get our pips in about eight seconds. Eight seconds, folks. Eight, five, four, three, two, one. And the tick is over, which means we will get pips. And we will also get quite high reward track. There you go. We've just reached uh, the halfway point and the reward track for our next triumphant armor piece. The hero's triumphant armor. Oh, whoa. I got new stuff. New superior stuff. Superior arrow card and superior ballista. More powerful than a standard ballista. Now, what is what does a ballista actually do? What does that do? Heavy single target damage to siege equipment and infantry. So it's just just a lot of damage, but only to one target. Whereas the arrow card is likely. Let's see, what is the arrow card? Moderate area damage. Okay. Then you've also got the trebuchet, which is heavy area damage. 
to walls, moderate damage to gates. Flame Ram is heavy damage to gates, and you cannot damage walls. Um, Catapult is heavy damage to walls, moderate damage to gates. Um, but it's got only 4,000 range, whereas the Trebuchet has 10,000 range. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep that in mind. You've gotta keep that in mind. All right. All right, we got a sentry here. And this is going to be the last tick of the live stream, so I'm not actually going to get any rewards next time. But I will get the pips, and it will be a good stopping point. So I will do it. I will. Stop me. I feel strong, apparently. I think... I used to think that's what my guy said when he when he got might, which would make sense because most of the time when you say it, when most of the time when the character says it, it's because you also have might. But um, but I think it's actually something that your character says when um, when you have adrenaline. I think it's actually sp specific to warriors. Okay, about two and a half more minutes. Very cool. We gotta sort out our rewards, though. Also, eventually, I'm gonna have to kill Azal the Quick three times and get rid of these freaking Shining Blade notices. Because that... That's pretty annoying to have in my inventory, and it's kind of a pain in the butt to get parties together to actually get those bandit leaders done. And that's actually one thing that is insanely hard for me to solo, even with my Doliac Spellbreaker build. Perhaps I could solo it if I use Sentinel's gear instead of Soldier's gear, but I'm using Soldier's gear, which has a little bit less vitality. Sentinel's gear is basically the same as Soldier's gear, but its main stat is vitality instead of power soldiers main stat is power but it's the same three stats it's power uh, power toughness vitality uh, sentinels is vitality power toughness so you know extra if i had my way i'd probably choose some stat set that uh, that had main toughness and then power and vitality but it might actually be better for the doliac spellbreaker to have sentinels which is uh vitality power toughness because already the sent the Doliac Spellbreaker and Warrior in general has access to so much extra toughness. It's just insane amount of toughness. Whereas Guardians have insane access to Aegis, the boon. Warriors have access to crap tons of toughness. Okay, crap tons of toughness and health. Like, even when we're going full glass, look at me. I'm going full glass. I've got one, two three things oh no four if you count my dagger four things out of what six plus six is twelve and then plus two is fourteen four out of fourteen of my things are giving me vitality but the rest are just complete glass and i actually have a pretty good amount of health and a pretty good amount of armor as well also there's a spell breaker and if i could just freaking just kill this one guy please please just let me kill this one guy Featherfoot Grace, let me catch him. Is he trying to lead me back to an NPC? So he can try and double team me? Uh oh. Trying to lead me back to you know what? I'm just gonna kill this guy then. That was the that was the tick as well. So I knew it! I knew he was doing that! That cheap guy, what the frick? Uh-oh, alright, alright, here we go. Boom. Oh, crap! Oh, that was close. Alright, I've got this now, and I've got... Oh, he's running low on health!
Oh, he used natural healing. No, no, wolf. Oh, I, I, I think I evaded that, but I'm not sure. Crap, I'm getting stunned. All right, here we go. Here we go. Ah, I turned it around on him. Yes, yes, I got him, I got him, I got him. I freaking got him. And hammer, just like I expected. Boom. Salute. Nice fighting spellbreaker. That was awesome. I'm going to capture this. I'm going to exit World v. World. Alright, let's see. About to capture this. There's three minutes left. Oh, should I just do one more tick? If I do one more tick, I'll be really, really close to getting the third reward for Mithril. Uh, do I do one more tick, or do I just leave it? Also, we lost Stone Mist Castle again. We are not back. The boys are not back in town. Definitely. Not yet, anyway. I think probably when I wake up tomorrow, they will be. They're probably going to be doing pretty well when I, when, when I wake up. Because peak hours for Maguma are not right now. But, uh, I don't know. Could be... It could be that we're still in the same sorry state as right now. Maguma is not a capturing server. They are just simply not. Maguma is a server that fights. And so our points are going to be from fighting. And if there's not enough people for us to fight, then it's going to be difficult for us to gain score. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see what's going on when I wake up tomorrow morning. Boom. And there was also, I don't know why I keep seeing those zeros. I, I don't think that automatic endure pain was triggered, but. All right, very cool. I was not able to interrupt that. I was able to use my full counter, but it didn't land because I was blinded. Boom. All right, so. Yeah, I suppose I will wait just for one more tick. Just one more tick. It's going to be less than two minutes. I'm going to capture this, we get some experience, get some participation of course, we're getting also pretty close to the undead shark loot boxes, I'm not really sure I like that, I don't really care about that. Um, I wish there were a way that you could actually like, like if you click on it and then it would give you more detailed review, or more detailed view of, uh, of the rewards in the minor tiers of the, of the reward track. Because I actually like going through and looking at those minor things. Like this this Ascalonian thing. The Ascalonian Catacombs reward track, like do you actually get do you actually get tears? Do you actually Hold on. Oh. Alright. One minute left. Did I not oh, that's weird. I just like didn't get anything. Uh, yeah, what was I gonna do? I was gonna check this. Do you actually get any tears? Escalonian tears. That's a catacombs weapon box. Small variety. Um, no, it doesn't appear that you do. Dragonite ore, imperial fragments, obsidian shards, mystic clovers, unbound magic, and the choice of gloves or winter berries. Dang, man. Well, how do you freaking get the um, Ascalonian Tears from the war reward tracks? Do you have to just... Do you just have to do the PvP reward tracks? Because I'm pretty sure from the PvP reward tracks, you do get Ascalonian Tears. Maybe I'm mistaken, but... Maybe it's the Champion Nente box? I don't know. I really don't know. But that's the tick. So I'm going to wait for my pips, and then I'm going to get out. Get out of here. I also have to use the bathroom. So I'm going to get out, sort out my loot. And we'll see. All right, so I got this. Now let's get out of here before I feel tempted to stay for another tick. All right, so... Stream complete. Wait, what? Oh, okay, stream... Um... All right, let's sort this out. Let's see, we got two undead shark loot boxes, and then we can uh, salvage this crap. 
And let's just go ahead and deposit all materials, and then we can consume all, and then sell this on the trading post. And then we are going to uh, go and sell junk, and also sell all those runes that we have. Boom. Tons of junk. Could technically sell that Ascended Ring for five silver. What the frick? Who would do that? Why do they even make that possible? If they make it possible, why don't they just make the price something that's not pathetically low? Five silver for an ascended ring. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me that ten pristine fractal relics are worth five silver? I don't think so. Because when you complete your dailies and you get those pristine fractal relics, no, you get a lot more than five silver. Okay, so I got a Black Lion chest, which I will put in my stash of 31 other ones. Um, I am going to put this Ascended Ring in my inventory, or in my bank. And then I'm going to see if I can craft my Ascended Materials. My Ascended Daily Materials. Okay, and I do need to make Grandmaster Armorsmith marks. Yes, I do. I need to make Grandmaster Armorsmith marks. I can craft one of these per day. One lump of Mithrilium. And I need a lot. I actually need eight total. So that kind of sucks. And I'm running out of Mithril, which means I'm going to have to start buying it with gold. Um, if I want to continue making Mithrilium. I don't actually need to make the rest of the, of the um, carbonized Mithril ingots. Mithrilium ingots. I don't need to actually make the rest of them. I just need to make the lump of Mithrilium because that's the only thing that's time gated. Square of Avian Silk. I actually do not need to make this, but I will make the bolts of silk. I will do the refinement. We've got that, and then. Uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do the thing. Um, then there's the blended leather sheet, and we don't need that either. Just gonna go ahead and make as many of these cured thick leather squares as we can. And then there's the empowered mithril ingot. And I can make this stuff right now, but I don't need to. I just need four of these total, which means I'm going to need 600 mithril ingots, four vials of might, four vials of magic, which, funnily enough, that's all I can make is vials of magic. But the thing is, when you make these Vial of Magic, you can't deposit them, so I don't need to actually make them right now. I'm just going to make them when I'm actually ready to make the entire Grandmaster uh, Armorsmith mark. And I need that for the Breastplate, which I'm going to upgrade into Legendary Armor, so that is the next step. I've got the skin, and I'm going for the Skirmish Claim tickets and all the Testimonies of Heroics. Um... And so the, the next step for me to do is to get the Grandmaster Armorsmith Marks and start going for that Ascended Armor, because, you know, that's what we actually are going to be upgrading into Legendary. So I want to thank everybody so much for tuning in, if you have, and please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, please feel free to go to my Patreon, which is in the description down below. And I will see you next time.